ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, 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 welcome back to more 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. I had a major mental block there for like a solid second because I forgot what game we were playing. But anyway, it seems now that we are actually not time traveling. Rather, we are on a spaceship out in the middle of space. And these robots that are attacking us are not aliens, but rather they are some kind of robot that we, humanity, have built. So it's gone from Starship Troopers to, well, I guess Starship Troopers, I don't know. Uh, basically a space invasion to Terminator, more or less. Anyway, that being said, as always, if you guys enjoy my channel content, my general stupid, nonsensical, doofy nonsense. Engagements are the single most important thing to this channel as that is what helps keep us alive and well and gets us out to other users and allows our community to grow and lets allows the channel to grow. Now, if you guys want to come hang out with me, link in the description below for the Discord. But with that said, let's get back into this game. And absolutely, Danny, this game has no idea what it wants to be. It is everything and nothing all at once. This game in and of itself in of itself is an enigma. Uh, I do apologize, I'm just getting a couple things adjusted. What the f Oh, I thought that said six ads. I was like, what the fuck? Okay, um, did we ever... I don't even know how to get his ass over there. I don't know if I need... I just thought about that. I don't know if I necessarily need both of these, but... Um... Yeah, screw it, I guess we'll do him. Yeah. What's it going on, bro? Oh, tonight was a pain in the ass. I had two customers come in at 7 o'clock, and for whatever reason, their transaction took me till 8.45 to finish. Thanks, cool. Hanaguchi-kun's not the most responsible guy, but he's smart, athletic, and popular with the ladies. On top of that, his family is rich. He's got all the latest video game consoles in his room. Um Hamiguchi kun's not the most he's smart on top he's Okay. Don't just leave me here. What's up with the Yaki Soba pond lately? They're always sold out. I heard there's a guy who buys shitloads of them. Why am I forced to go over this way? Hey, if we're going to the captain, let's use. Oh, right. Hey, Danny, how's that uh, paper going? How you doing with that so far? Not here either, huh? Well, crap. So much for gaming today. Minami-san suddenly showed up at my and then brought over Miura oh, yeah, as if no. I didn't have enough. I always dreamed of living on my own. <sighs> Looks like they're close. Maybe I'll just go. Um. What the hell am I doing wrong with this? Girls might know where he is. Maybe they've seen him somewhere. I know you were eavesdropping earlier. You know, Kisaragi and the other. Did they mention him? Uh, I don't know. All right. Yes, I guess I goofed that. Um. Yeah. I get to the break area somehow. I don't even know who Spatari is. Wait. Did I get that bitch yet? No, I didn't. Alright. Um. I guess we're gonna try to figure this chick out. Ah, that's fair, Danny. Yeah, if you can milk it somehow, I totally would too. Did you see that, Usami chan? It was that kitty again. I don't see it. Must have taken off already. So many stray cats around here. Maybe someone's feeding them. That 
Kitty, think it's the same one I saw at school? I don't know. A lot of cats look like that. You saw it too, right, Yuri-chan? Didn't it look the same? Oh, it's over there! I don't see it. Must have taken off already. Is it just repeating now? So many straight cats. Yeah, it's repeating. Here. After this, you wanted to. Yes, you must really want. Well, yeah, so we already said so that. So what? Gee. Man, all the guys at school suck. Every day, I have strange dreams. They keep me up at night. <sighs> so sleepy. There's not even one in my bag? Whenever I think about him, my heart starts racing. It's like love at first sight. If I said that, would he laugh at me? I don't think he would laugh, but he definitely would be weirded out by it. She's gentle, kind, loves talking about romance, even though she's shy with boys. Even just watching from afar. Usami-chan sits at the desk in front of mine. She has red glasses, braids, and seems a bit weird, honestly. It's like your heart's back in a warm blizzy. Maybe, but come on. Have you seen how the guys look? Let's just say they're not teacher. About Amiguchi-kun. I heard he's not joining the basketball team. What a shame. He's so good at it. Back in grade school, he played soccer. But one day, he just got bored and quit. You guys knew each other back then? Yeah, in fourth grade. Nachan too. We were in the same class. Let's see. Now where were we? Hmm. You can go on about the damn cat. Guys, I like. I think Amiguchi comes handsome. That guy's shallower than a cookie pan. You've got a strange taste in men, Miwako. That's mean. Goto Senpai's pretty cute, too. He has a lot of secret admirers, even some of the third years. Yeah, I'll pass. Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like? Being in love is wonderful, Sami chan even just watching from afar. It's like your heart's wrapped in a warm blanket. <sighs> Me, romance aside, I'm still hungry. Let's get more treats. Oh, thank God, finally we can progress the story. Where should we go? I'd love to go back to that one place. Their stuff was pretty good. Who? Let's get sweet. It's a... Why don't we get soft serve? Nah. I'd rather have crepes. Let's let Yori-chan decide. I'm assuming this story's gonna pan I I agree with Usami-chan. Crepes sound good right now. Then that's that. Let's go! Oh, thank God. Yeah, that was annoying after the last time trying to figure out where the hell we were going or what we had to do with this bitch. It's annoying. You didn't get your usual? Chocolate banana, right? Double strawberry was half off. I have to try it. Yum. Well, let's see. How is it? Mmm. So many strawberries. Crispy edges. Lots of cream. So many wrong things I could say right now. You know, what if I got the tuna in mayo? I could have fed it to the cat. Hey, cats can't have crepes. I actually have cat treats with me. If you want to feed him, give him those. So you're the one who's been feeding them? Jeez, Miwako. 
I'll keep that in mind next time I see one. Thanks, Miwa-chan. Um, do you think we'll put on weight? If you keep eating too many sweets, hell yeah. Sugar. Yori. Are you on a diet? Is that crush getting to your head? Don't tell me. You two are taking things to the next level? It's not like that. Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like? Oh. Being in love is wonderful, hey. Sami-chan. Hey! Iwa-chan. Over here. Oh, one moment. Be sure to rock at her to get her attention better. Oh, there you go. But I think the one at school looks slightly different. So there's more than one. You got a good look at the one at school, huh? At the front gate with Karabe? Oh, you saw that? Oh! That guy's kind of weird, don't you think? What were you talking to him about? It was... It was stuff and things. You know, all that stuff. <laughs> you know, you were there, right? <laughs> no? It's only 8, 10 a.m. Behold, Yori Fuyusaka, genuine morning person. It's Good for you, because so I sure shit ain't a morning person. God, if it's 9 in the morning, I peel myself out of bed. I'm like, God, kill me. Oh, kitty. Early cat gets the mouse, huh? Good morning, Fuyusaka-san. <gasps> quiet! Huh? Oh, a cat. Looks just like a stray I've seen by my house. Maybe they're siblings. Kurabe-kun, do you still have those dreams? Yeah, sometimes. I have them too. You know that one you talked about earlier? With... The UFO buried underground? UFO? Yori! Morning! Usami-chan! Good morning! What were you guys up to over there? Oh, um, just looking at a cat. Uh, huh. Hey, can we talk a little more? Uh, okay. Megumi? Oh. Wait, so I'm recalling a recall? Within a recall. I guess we can call this a total recall. Uh. Juro. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried with you all by yourself. If something were to happen to you... I... Drew, stop. <sighs> I'm flattered you feel that way. But I can't think about this. Not now. I don't want to leave you hanging. No, I get it. I don't know what got into me. This is no time for a confession. It would only make things more complicated. But, listen. When this is all over, I'll talk to you again. Promise. Again, were you able to find the source of these tremors? Okino-kun. Remember the kaiju that were immobilized? They're starting to collapse. The tunnel is blocked. We'll need to find another route to the surface. There's no use rushing. No one's left up there anyway. <sighs> you don't have to say it. <sighs> so you remember. I'm so sorry about your mother. It's okay. Our work here is a good distraction. I'll check the terminal over there.
This one block of data is still being analyzed. It's been three days and it's only at 1.2%. God damn. That's unusually dense. Still, the system's logical structure, it's not so far off from our own. Was Okino-kun right all along? This could be a relic of an ancient civilization. I wonder what this is for. Something Time travel. Incredible, surely. If you asked me for my best guess, I'd say it's a transmission device. In other words, a teleporter. <sighs> Don't give me that look. Hear me out. I actually found some associated data. Come on, you've taken quantum mechanics. Transmission of matter isn't possible. That's what our science says. We can't assume that alien technology is bound by the same constraints. That's fair. If my theory is correct, we've got an explanation for the disappearances. Including those of your parents, Morimura-san. Guys, come take a look at this. Oh, okay. I thought I was gonna just pull us in. The analysis took some time, but... I found this. What is that? The map. This relic is enormous. It's 30 kilometers in diameter. And the whole thing's underground, right beneath the city. It looks like a giant saucer. Fascinating. So this isn't just any alien facility. It's a buried UFO. We're only massive. 300 meters from the surface. Oh, this facility is huge. How could it have never been discovered? It's not likely. Rather, it may have been intentionally hidden. A government cover-up of alien life. Sounds like a movie from the 20th century. Those monsters on the surface. Are they trying to unearth this UFO? Just what are they after? It may have something to do with this. It's a data signal being emitted by this facility as we speak. What does it look like to you? Looks like a timer. A countdown. It started when the kaiju came in contact with the mainframe. Since then, the clock's been ticking. We should investigate further. We should in- Okay. This may not be appropriate, but I'm honestly excited. This sort of alien technology? I can hardly believe it. Not that I'm going to, because it would probably be a ridiculous amount of time. But I am... Hmm. Okay, this probably would be ridiculous. I was going to say, technically... Like, I wonder what would happen if the timer ran to zero. If we just let it run. What happens? We die. It may be related to the gravity wave abnormality. Do you think it might... Launch? Let's just continue the analysis. There's no time for what ifs. We need to find out what's going on. Uh oh, she does actually have a different route. So, oh, it, oh yeah, if we go in for soft serve. Damn it! I was actually hoping that they would let me just snap over. Um. Ugh. Um, are we getting any closer to this? Oh my god, for fuck's sake. Alright. Alright, let's deal with that bullshit again. Did you see that, Usami chan? There was that thing again. I don't see it. Must have taken off already. 
so many stray cats around here. Maybe someone's feeding them. That kitty. Think it's the same one I saw at school? I don't know. A lot of cats look like that. You saw it too, right, Yuri-chan? After this, you wanted to... Yeah, you must... Well, he looks... Um... So what? Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like? About... I heard... What is that, but you got... Yeah, I'm not... just gonna skip through the dialogue. Now, where were we? Hmm. Being in love is wonderful, sunny -san. Even just watching from a fog. Are you sending your love? I see. Can you re uh, don't. Let's see. Now, where were we? Hmm. It's like your heart's wrapped in a warm blanket. <sighs> Romance, I'm still. Let's. Let's get his white open now. Alright, so which one do you oh, right. soft serve? The soft serve place has got a new flavor. I've had crepes a lot lately. So I agree with me with Chan. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's go. There we go. Alright, now we can actually continue the story as normal. Chocolate mint. I actually got a tub of uh, mint in my Let's fridge see. right now. Mm, it's so good. Super sweet. You know what my lucky item is? This Damn, she looked that cone into oblivion. Guess things are looking up for you then. They really are. <laughs> I can tell. Until the world blows up. And, you know, aliens kill us all. Um, do you think we're... Mm, you're... Are you... Don't tell me. It's not like... Man, all the guys are gonna suck. There's not even one you might like? Oh, cat's not there. Being in love is wonderful, funny fun. Even just watching from afar. It's like your heart's wrapped in a warm blanket. Maybe, but come on. Have you seen how the guys react when Mori Mora walks in? Let's just say they're not looking at her eyes. She does have a nice figure, and I can sort of understand. As for guys I like, I think Amiguchi comes handsome. That guy's shallower than a cookie pan. You've got a strange taste in men, Miwako. That's mean. Senpai's pretty cute too. He has a lot of secret admirers. Oh my god. I don't care. Let's just progress yeah, this bitch's story. Man, all the guys at school, there's not even. Uh. Yu Chan's my good friend. Loves talking about romance. Usami Chan apart. sits at the desk she has read. It's like your heart's in the world. Whenever I my heart, it's like if I. Every day, take <sighs> Maybe the a giant on. UFO buried underground. Was it a premonition? Maybe not. Chan's getting to my head when she starts talking about UFO. Gotta love her. Have you seen how the guys react when Mori Mora walks in? Let's just say they're not looking at her eyes. They're looking she at her ass. Nice figure, and I can sort of understand. As for guys, I like you. Would, you should do it. Oh, there you go. Letter. Huh? But it said my luck for this week is bad. Don't forget, you got your lucky item today. Yeah, just tell him. Oh, stop. It's so embarrassing. Watching from afar is good enough. But I do envy you, Iori chan. You talk to Amiguchi kun like it's no big deal. You two are chatting on lunch break, right? 
in the passageway? What about? Well, uh... Dreams? Let's see... Now... Hmm. Amiguchi-kun and Karabe-kun's dreams... They sounded a lot like mine. I wanted to talk to them about it. Maybe we're all connected. Why are they staring at me like, yo, this bitch crazy. She's talking to herself. Karabe-kun. <gasps> oh, Fuyusaka-san. What brings you here? You weren't at your desk, so... I thought I'd check outside. Are you waiting for Amiguchi-kun? Well, trying to. More dream talk? I'm sure that's what he'd want to do. But <laughs> I just want to play games. I thought I'd ask to hang out at his place. You know, I've been thinking. I know we just met here at school, but... It doesn't feel like it's for the first time. <laughs> Have we met somewhere before? A long time ago? Um, In a galaxy I far, far away? So. Fuyusaka's here too. Amiguchi-kun. Did you have another dream? You guessed it. It was crazy, man. I was in this tank thing with legs. Uh, Walking around, here? beating up monsters. Were you watching some sci-fi B-movie before bed? So you've been having dreams like that all this time? Oh yeah, especially lately. You too, right Karabe-kun? So we're all having similar dreams, Ned. It's not suspicious at all. Mine was about a UFO. I went back in time using the UFO's transmitter. I have dreams like that all the time. But in my case, I think I'm too easily influenced by movies and stuff. Why did you come here anyway? Don't tell me you're interested in our dreams. About that, the truth is... I've been having weird dreams, too. It seems like they might be related, so... I thought I should talk to you guys about it. Oh, yeah? What kind of dreams? I think... That was you in my dream, Amiguchi-kun. Riverbank looks so empty. There's no Century Tower. This must be before it was built. I went back 16 years. Looks like I'm the only one who made it. Were Jiro and Okinokun unable to escape? This must be around the time I was born. And I'm all alone. What am I supposed to do? Here comes Arnold. Never mind. What the hell is that? What is that? Whoa. It's Sumire Bridge. Did I make it back? Chihiro Morimura, am I right? Who are you? I'm Tetsuya Ida. I was sent here by the future you. Wait, what? 2089. Wait, she's the big titty nurse? She asked me to find you on Sumire Bridge 16 years prior and tell you about our battles. We'll defeat them this time for sure. She's the big titty nurse! It's getting noisy. I don't want to get caught. Let's get out of here. What about that thing? Are you just going to leave it here? Don't have much choice. Gonna need it eventually. I'll worry about it later. Don't worry, we put the parking brakes on, we now, locked though, it, fine. I think it's best we have insurance. 
Don't worry, it's fine. In about 16 years, you're gonna have big tits and a nice ass. There we go. All right, we can start finally doing RTS. Uh, all right. Sorry. Can't do much like this. Let's go. Not a problem. Leave it to me. I'm there. I'll fight. Dymo signatures confirmed. We're starting to get even more of them. That's weird. They're a little different from the D forces in the database. What do you mean? They're similar to their original designs, but they've been modified and optimized further. The system's making changes to the kaiju on the fly, specifically to fight all of you. My current processing is at 6%. Careful, everyone. I don't know how long we gotta hold out here, but not gonna back down now. Much obliged. For me. No fight, I can't win. Um, what the hell is? Oh, it's a walker that's firing missiles. Uh, all right. So if I do multi-lock as usual. And do shit. All right. Um. What now? Okay. I didn't want to do that. Fuck. Here's the plan. Number twenty-two, advancing. Still not used to this thing. Get wrecked. Nice. Norton, what's our plan? Asshole. Her out like right here somewhere Excellent. in the center. Number 14, beginning oh, movement. The What's the situation? I guess life comes at you fast. How many walkers do we have? We got two. Naturally, why would they make it easy? Not just offense. Some kind of new alloy has been integrated into the defensive shell. If the shell's harder, then we just punch it harder. It's gotta crack eventually. Send him here. I need to think. I can help. Oh wait, those wait, those units don't get locked on? Oh shit, there's a whole squad right over there. Um hmm. What's the situation? Let me get her over there. Right, that walker is gone. Long range missiles. Ooh, yeah, that's a great shot right there.
All right, cool. So I killed that out. Um, let me go leg spike on this guy. Oh, I didn't even get the walk. Shit. I don't know if he's gonna... Oh, actually, he can make it. Did she get it? Uh, yeah, she got it. Alright, cool. Uh, what else? Let's use the leg spike again on this big bastard. That easy. What's our plan? Long range missile. Break these targets. And do something, I guess. Christ, I just left myself wide open. Get him the hell out of there. Uh, yeah, there we go. I had to cut that group off. Move him out over this way. It feels like that, doesn't it, Danny? Especially this game. Here we go. Alright, his long range missile didn't do what I wanted it to do. So, not the most ideal situation. What's a major target right now? Actually, these are more pressing, so let's get rid of them. But yeah, I mean, Danny, this game is sort of holding my interest. Like I said, I think I think I might take a break from this game, considering just how long it is. The story is very detailed. It's just that it's, you know, I feel like it's the pacing, maybe. Not necessarily the pacing, but the way it's written. The whole back and forth thing kind of gets annoying. Um, and honestly, with the way life is going right now for me, and that's nothing bad, nothing bad. It's just, um, I'm busy. I've got, I've got HVAC that I gotta study for. And considering the amount that I have to study with it, and also trying to keep up with videos, and then I also have other shit going on too, uh, for work, because I might actually be getting a new job here, possibly. Possibly, very possibly. It's not a third job, it's gonna be a new job to replace Verizon. Sort of. So, again, it's a maybe. But for me to have time to do anything, I need an extra day. Especially with studying. So, what I might do is, I might cut off Thursday streams. 
So I may knock out the Thursday streams, and that's just gonna be that. Like the rest of the week is gonna be my normal. Um, but as for what you're asking, Danny, I mean, we could do a 70 chick stream. I wouldn't mind that. If anything, maybe we'll do that tomorrow night if you're available. No, 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 no. Um, I applied for field technician with Verizon. So basically, the guys that go to your house to set up your BIOS, um, I'm. I signed up for that because, from what I've heard, that's actually a really good job. Uh, there was a, the guy who set up my files. He said that he, you know, he's been doing it for the last like 30 years, and they pay decent salary. So, uh, if that's the case, then I might, I might, I might go for it. I gotta see how much they make them. I don't remember. I think we're just about to clear out this target. What? Unbelievable. I'm acting like an amateur. Now let's like move him. Comes at you fast. Number 12, move okay, him. Let's do this. Get it, Brett. That's good. You're trapped. I won't back down. Yeah, see, that's what I'm hoping, Danny. I mean, so like I said, I'm still going for my HVAC stuff as of now. But if Verizon Field Tech makes a decent living, I mean, to be honest, I might not go for HVAC anymore if it makes enough. Again, it depends on how much I make. It entirely depends on the pet. If I find out that HVAC still makes more than them, then yeah, I'm going to keep up with HVAC. But it, it's, it's an all, it's an if, it's a maybe. I'm not saying anything guaranteed. Nothing is guaranteed. Not until I know it. So... It's ideas and thoughts, but I know I applied and they basically are like, hey, you gotta do an assessment before we can even go any further, so I'm gonna do the assessment, and I'm gonna proceed on and see what it does. Termination of enemy signals confirmed. Yeah, alright. Then you know what I might do? I might go for the field tech job, see what they pay, technically quit my current two jobs, because then I'm hoping that I make enough money, like make more money with this job than with the other jobs, and then when I finish up my HVAC, go for HVAC. Did you do all this data analysis? Do I sound like I understand all this egghead talk? I'm just relaying a message. From who? Well, that child from earlier. Chihiro did this. So she is helping us. Let's hope. Warning. Dymo signatures approaching. Or? Dymo signatures. That means they're coming. <sighs> Everyone all right? I got you, Danny. Well, I would imagine that my um, line work would still be salary, right? Wouldn't it be? Or something like that. But yeah, no, that's probably what I'm going to do. And honestly, like, don't, don't get me wrong. I don't mind working two jobs, but honestly, being able to afford days off would be lovely again. Because that's, that's the thing with my current job. I don't make enough money to be able to even take a day off even if I'm sick. So, being able to have a job that makes enough money to where I can Let's afford ready. to, you know, have a day off, Leave it to me. that would be great. You want me to go?
freaking flyers? Man, why am I stuck on the ground? Quit whining. I wish mine was stuck on the ground. If it meant I could hit like a train. The fourth generation models have some unique features. They can use the latest plasma weaponry and interceptors. On top of that, they're equipped with barriers and high output laser weapons that didn't exist at the turn of the 22nd century. The rotors match the drill flies, and the barrier was clearly taken from Apsos technology, meaning the fourth generation mechs were created by Okino, derived from the designs of the Daimos themselves. Is that true? He makes it sound so cool. I was basically copy-pasting random design elements with no idea how it'd actually work. Really, the Sentinels have always kind of been siblings to the Daimos. So you literally just copy and paste it. Okay, cool. Thanks. I've got to do this. You know what it is, Danny? Even if I had one day off, that would be okay. That wouldn't be a problem. I, I don't mind not having, not, not being able to really take days off. My biggest problem is that I can't afford sick days. Like if I got sick right now, I'd have to go to work sick. I genuinely have no option. Like that's what happened to me during Christmas. I ended up, uh, I end up working sick, and I end up getting a bunch of my coworkers sick. I didn't want to, but if I didn't, I wouldn't be able to afford my rent. So it's not like I wanted to hurt my coworkers. It's just the card I was dealt. Or at least that's what my coworkers and my coworkers claimed that I got them sick. But to be honest with you, I don't entirely believe that because I had COVID and they ended up getting something else. So that's why I'm like, I don't entirely believe that I got them sick. Did one of them have an EMP? Stay calm. Okay. They're after me. We can do this. Right? Damn, is that thrown again? No, that's not gonna work. This is getting way too close. Getting the kind of kills that I need. Hey, Del Boy, how you doing, bud? Oh, let me pause and want to see what you're saying. Uh, yeah, I hear you, Del Boy. Ain't that the truth? It's honest work. Oh, I mean. No, my job's not technically blue collar. And I don't know if I would entirely say it's completely honest work. As a buddy of mine says, I'm a professional gaslighter. Sales are dirty like that. Always having to reword shit in a way that sounds pretty, so that way the customers buy your shit. I'm right here. Yeah. See ya. Oh. No fight, I can't win. Die. Yeah, Del Boy, where you been, bud? Here's the plan. 
There's a big titty nurse in this game. You'd be losing your shit. <laughs> if I remember correctly from our uh, Valkyria Chronicles, I can only imagine yours and Danny's reactions. To be honest, Del Point, this game is confusing as shit and I'm kind of piecing it together, but so far, um, originally what it seemed was that there's this alien invasion occurring, so to survive, some of the characters in this game have been able to do time travel in order to build better weapons and help to fight the aliens in the future, but then the aliens follow them into the past. What it actually seems to be, though, is that we're on a spaceship. Each sector is designed after a different time period. Everyone believes they're living in said time period. Like uh, the one dude on our squad with the hat believes that he was living in 1945, towards the end of World War II, and believes that he was that uh, Japan was still at war with the United States at that time, when the reality is we're actually on a spaceship and his sector was just made to look like Japan of World War II. And my outpost is getting absolutely nuked right now. This is not good at all. Holy shit. Um... I'm right here. Take it. Oh, and these aliens that we're fighting may not actually be aliens, but like a... It might be a Skynet situation where these are robots that we built, and they've just gone haywire and they started attacking. Oh, I don't know why. The yeah, railgun didn't do as much as I wanted it to do. Del Poy, when, when you see the big tittied nurse, uh, you, you might have different feelings. Alright, no, that's still the same. He's got a bail. This dude's got a bug out. Number Thanks. ten, moving What's out. our plan? Leave it to me. A hit. Enemy down. Okay, let's do this. Oh, actually, you know what? No, no. Use her leg spike. Go through with me. Always the, the shit. They didn't do anything. For some reason, those have shielding. They're like any other punks. There's no point overthinking it. What's the plan? Can you still hit it? Sort of, yeah. Next move. Locked on. Let's hit that 
You know, I will say I miss Valkyria Chronicles, and I would love it if they made a new one. Wait, no, he does have EMP. Thanks. Uh, actually, did more damage than I thought it would. You know, uh, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're right there, Delpoy. I, like, it's a cool game, don't get me wrong. It is actually interesting. It's just the plot is very all over the place. Because I, I don't know what you saw of it so far, but after we're done with the RTS, the story aspects, you're, like the characters for some reason are all in a time loop. And that's really where the story's, the story's aspect is, where you're just stuck in this perpetual time loop where you're repeating certain events in order to further the plot of the game. So, it, 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 yeah, coherence is a little annoying. Um, and that's the thing. They, uh, technically, we are in the mechs right now. It's just that they don't model them for some reason, which I'm actually kind of disappointed they didn't do that. They are. They, they actually mentioned that in the uh, in, earlier in the game that uh, for some reason they're naked inside the mechs. Now, why are they naked? I don't know. I'm gonna say because they technically teleport into their mech. I am going to say it's for the same purpose as in Terminator. Why, when you time travel, you're naked? Well, the other thing, too, is they're inside of this thing of, like, metal. When they get out, they're gonna be covered in grease and shit. I wanted to make a joke, but I'm like, no, nah, can't make that joke. They're high school kids, that's bad. Oh my gosh, they need to be no <laughs> Oh, I forgot about that episode. God damn. Oh, uh, always sunny. Yeah, thank God for Danny DeVito. Here goes. Is Jiro going to? Let's roll. I'm ready. Those minor kaiju are new models too. 
So I should prioritize that target. Got it. No point overthinking it. All right, where's the big bastard? Number ten, moving out. What now? I have to focus. I'm assuming the missile launcher. Yeah, it's figures. All right. Can't mess this up. Number thirteen, moving out. Number fifteen, I moving out. Things through. Number twenty-three, my spirit moving. Up. That should temporarily shut them down. I don't know if this is the copy that I'm talking about, the, uh, you know, whoa, it makes perf nearly perfect copies of itself. I'm not sure if that's the copy, oh, goddammit, there's another one up there? And I can tell already this is going to get on my nerves real quick. No, 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 no. I could use the MP and knock out most of them. Son of a bitch. Hold still. Yes. We will not lose. I'm ready. Did I? For some of these characters had better weapons. Destroyed. Move. Gotta keep it together. Wait, actually, she has the MP stunner. Didn't even kill him. Fuck! What did I do? Tickle him? Usually that works. Hope I can pull my weight. Yes, for these guys it doesn't. Shit. She's basically just tickling these damn robots. Yeah, I gotta do upgrades on these guys. There we go, he's gone.
Uh, she needs the bailout. She's gonna bail out repair. Then you. So for conversational sake, um, because I, I should really be coming up with something for conversation, and I'm just not talking because I'm dumb. Um, so apparently David Hayter got to play the new Metal, Ge uh, the Metal Gear 3 remake. So if they're already letting people play this game, I think we might finally hear of a re uh, release soon. Hopefully. So I am super excited and cannot wait for that. Because that is definitely something I'm going to stream on the channel, like a hundred percent. And hell, if it's available, I might go for even a collector's edition. Actually, no, who the hell am I saying might? What's this might bullshit? You know for a fact I'm going for the collector's if there is one. Shit, I'm waiting for the Metal Gear board game to finally come out. But from what I am hearing, it sounds a lot like what they're doing with the Metal Gear remake. They're doing with the remake what... Who is it? THQ did with Straw Humans. Where they're literally just taking the original game, they're modernizing the controls, making it look pretty, but they're keeping the original story and the original voice acting. Seal, my brain is pretty much rotted as it is, both from this game and the pain of retail. So, uh, can't can't rot something that's already been rotted. Nah, this game isn't bad. It's just I don't know. The story's a little weird. Um, gameplay's not bad. The interactions aren't bad. like it's not a bad game. I, I don't. I don't not like it, but it's one of these games where I'm like, hey, not really my cup of tea, personally. I was really hoping that would actually do something. And they didn't do shit. I don't know why. I don't know why, but when the chick with glasses got wounded and I had to bail her out and the other dude was like, yo, you good? I don't know why, but immediately it made me think of this one girl I used to date because I remember her explicitly telling me that she liked it when I worried about it because she took, yeah, she took it like, oh, you know, it's, it's nice to know that I can. Um, you know, seeing me worry about her, she likes it. And I'm like, yeah, no. Like, uh, yes, I care. But is it a good thing to make me worry about you? No. Like, I, like, she, she did used to do shit to make a situation that much worse. Like, I remember one time we, we had a bad fight. It was really over stupid. All of our fights were over stupid shit. Like, everything that we fought about could have been very easily just talked over. Um, but she just made it 12 times harder. And I remember at the time, I guess because of adrenaline and just anger and emotional, just, just being emotionally off balance. God damn, I gotta, yeah, I gotta have her bail out. Um, I had thought the situation was worse than 
because I remember she made it out like she, to say it in a way that YouTube won't hate me. She was talking about taking the short way out. And naturally, I, you know, being that I was love her, I was worried about. But I remember, like, looking back at it now, I start, la I, I laugh at it. And that sounds cool, but there's a reason for it because the picture she sent me, she made it out like she basically. Like, the way she made this out was like she was cutting herself to the point where she damn near put her arm in a wood chipper. Like, that's the way she was making it out. But when you look at the picture she sent me, it looked more of like if she took like a, I don't know, like a uh, push pin and just poked herself and then she was just slightly bleeding from like a prick. She was acting like, like I said, she was acting as if she just stuck her arm in a wood chipper. When the reality is, it was more of like when a cat scratches you. It wasn't even that. It wasn't even that bad. So, no, she always used to horrendously exaggerate. We made it through all that, but something's clearly bothering you. Well, it's like this: the RPF probably didn't show up before this loop. We've seen the Dymo system using not only civic development machines. But space exploration tech. So if the system yeah, expanded, uh, I'm getting that seal, and it does have a very trippy plot, to say the on least. Current feedback, it's entirely possible. What is? Stop dancing around it. Well, I mentioned the Sentinels were like siblings to the Dimos, right? Wait, you're not saying. I'm saying I've got a bad feeling about this. That's the last of them, right? Yeah, now that I have a second, I need to actually go through and make sure I have my upgrades. That really was a workout. They're not. Oh, yeah, there is. Uh, okay. Oh. And naturally, I can put more into it. trying to upgrade their uh, damage output. Whatever that... Uh, defense, accuracy, speed. Yes, I don't even know if... Um, here we go. be the generator that I put mostly into. Seal. Oh, that's what Neuralink does. Okay. 
I think right now the biggest problem that I'm having is damage output. Like if I could just oh wait, damn it, too far. Damn it, I already did that. Um, tip this up at least. Because if this makes it so that way they can fight longer or decrease his brain load. Alright. Alright, so am I gonna be dealing with anything aggravating or is it just gonna be the usual bullshit? Just watch. Usual bullshit, got What's it. The plan? Oh, you're melee, right? Good timing. Good. Target destroyed. Sentinel. Not throwing away my shot. Leave it to me. Is that now? You know what it is? The reason why I go for the multi-lock missiles the most is because of the way the enemies spread out and how far of a spread that the lock-on has for its targets. So it's because of that that it's just the most realistic weapon to use, honestly. I did that just to see something. I noticed these. Alright, no, it didn't work. 
Hey, Logan, what's going on, bud? All right, so I had a theory. These guys have what looks to be shielding, right? So I figured if I EMP'd them, they lose the shield. And no, no, they actually don't. So EMP didn't help. What's going on, Logan? How you doing, bud? Don't waste any chances. Number 11, moving out. What's the plan? You know what it is, Seal? Some of these weapons just seem to be better for, like, certain targets. Like, the leg spike and the melee weapons definitely do a lot more damage to the walkers. This kind of damage wasn't in my projection. God damn it. All right, he's got bailout. soften up the enemy. Clear out most of them, if possible. Contact's getting a Enemy lot closer. Damn it, she's... Alright, we have to let them get close. Yeah, he's got a bailout. Yeah, it didn't really do the damage that I wanted it to do. My turn now. As long as I can keep this thing moving. Holy shit. Yeah, her missiles aren't doing the kind of damage that I need them to do. Like, I need someone to like, nuke these goddamn things. What's our plan? Now. Absolutely, Delpoy. We're pushing hard. We're getting in deep. We're gonna penetrate those enemy lines. We're gonna spread those walkers' legs. We can get real deep into those Mueller's.
let up. Oh boy, it sounds like those gray sweatpants are going to turn white real quick. Yeah, it definitely seems like the rail guns are at least decent if you can get a good shot off on them. So I'm right there with you, see, I think for the uh, other chick, the uh, Yakuza girl, I'm going to use her uh, cannon, or whatever the hell it is, to try to break down the group. I'm going to try to break up this group as much as possible. Del Poy's story of my life. That sounds like me on the daily. My turn now. I can help. Attack landing. Number eleven. Moving out. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Damn, I didn't do shit. No fight, I can't win. Still not used to this thing. Number 20 to so, let's get it. There we go. I definitely think that did a lot more. But what else? Eh, I guess missile launch is gonna be what it is. Next move. Number twenty-two, advancing. Stay on guard. Wait, was there another group that just spawned in? Gen 1's doing some pretty good work though, their Del Boy. Oh, I got a wild story for you guys. I was watching this video, so there's this girl, right? She was dating another chick. And they, the two of them dating decided that they wanted a kid. So, she ended up, one of them, the main chick in question, Ended up getting artificial insemination, so that way she could get pregnant and have a kid. Come on. Nothing out of the ordinary. How was that? Well, Next. the girlfriend ends up deciding to leave her. Now, here's the thing. The chick that got pregnant, main girl that we're talking about, she was a stay-at-home mom. The girlfriend was the one who was the breadwinner, but the girlfriend broke up with her. So now this chick ain't got no more money. So she goes, shit, what do I do about money? You know, normal thing would be to find a job, but no, she doesn't want to do that. So what she does is, her friend that works at the sperm bank gave her the phone number to the donor who's technically the child's father. She, act, she uses that number and texts the supposed father, acting like it was a wrong number. He becomes friends with him. Five months later, manages to snag a DNA sample off him 
and takes him to court, taking 40% of his paycheck as child support. How fucked up is that? This dude donated his, uh, I'm trying to think of the YouTube friendly way of saying it. We're, he donated his baby batter to help others have children. And she it's a temporary effect, but it can still used essentially his goodwill to steal money from him. We made it. And she got away with it too. That's the fucked up thing. She's getting 40% of his paycheck every, I think, month. So she's basically a stay-at-home mom. She doesn't have to work because of how much money he makes. Come on, guys. We got some ass to I mean, now that she was dumb enough to go ahead and say, hey, a friend of mine gave me, you know, this guy's number. Um, I would imagine or hope that that story progresses and the donor decides to uh, sue to try to undo the... Because they, they, that can't be right. Like, he didn't have sex with this woman. He donated his, he donated his uh, baby batter. So, I don't think he should hold any legal obligation this child nor should he have to pay any he shouldn't have to pay her anything so it's absurd that the court actually ruled in her favor I would love to meet the judge who approved this because that judge is an idiot see though it's stories like this that goes to show it doesn't pay to do goodwill shit like that. And someone's gonna end up trying to screw you later. Are those sentinels? Are they on our side? Hell no. They ain't on our side. Most likely, they're the first generation units we lost in the battle at Sector 2. So they were seized and repurposed? Repurposed? Well, it may be more accurate to say they were reset. When we attempted to deploy automated sentinels, they behaved as if they were Dimos. During the battle at Sector 2, units 1 to 11 were being remotely controlled by me. You piloted 11 units by yourself? At the same time? It wasn't efficient, and the D-forces were clearly influencing their processes and abilities. And that's why we directly control them now. Too many problems with automation. I thought they were destroyed in that battle. I don't know if it's that simple. Juro, what do you mean by that? Look, they're coming. They seem like pretty heavy units. And they've even got the composite ceramic armor. So they're close quarters Dymos frontliners now. If we don't shut them down, the terminal won't last. And Del Poe, that sucks. No, but like, I feel like the judge can still get the guy off child support. But, you know. Oh, absolutely, Del Poe. Like, What's the plan? dude, Metal Gear is easier to understand than this shit. Good. Oh, I didn't do anything with that guy. Holy crap. How's the Sentinel? All right, so I'm not doing any damage to these guys. What the shit? Don't let up. Stay on guard. Hit confirmed. All right, seriously, that's bullshit. Good. No room for hesitation. Take this. All right, like seriously, nothing hurts no these guys. Effect. What? I hold back down. Oh, bet something. Let's turn this around. I'll handle this. How did they spell that? As long as I can keep this thing moving. Don't screw with me. That's you. I can help. I won't let you. Attack landed. Enemy destroyed. They're after me. They're targeting this place. Here's the plan. Ah, so it's the EMP. The 
No, but that's okay. So it's just certain weapons don't work. Oh, dude, Delpoi, definitely not. The fact that she went as far as she did to get him on child support, 100%, she is not letting him off. How's that? What's our plan? So you know what that means. So that man, realistically, that. if a lawsuit don't work, his only option, well, he's just gonna have to die. It's a fucked up joke, but no, he's... Kind of situation the poor guy's in. But now, all, all joking aside, like it, it's fucked up. But it's like it's just not. It's just not worth it being good to people. Because they end up fucking you anyway. Like, um, for example, I had a guy in my store, and not the same situation. Of course, I had nothing to do with child support, but I had this guy. Uh, maybe a few months ago. Nice. You look like Napoleon Dynamite. Oh. Oh, okay, that was my story. Um, guy comes into my store, wants to do an upgrade. Took him two hours to figure out what he wanted to do with his kid's phone. Him and his kid's phone, mind you. Took him two hours to figure this out. Finally figures out what he's going to do with his life. I had to do three different transactions for this guy because I had to do his phones first because he wanted to see how much that was going to cost. Then I had to do another transaction and convince him to buy a case and screen protectors. I had to give him a case for free in order to give him other shit because God forbid he did anything else. And then he wanted me to go over the receipts. Now, at our store we have... We have a program called Ready, uh, Ready to Go, which basically what it is... It's our plan B. So if you try to report me for anything, I have my ready to go to back me up. That's what that's for. Don't try to take them down by I forgot to do the ready to go because this guy was on my ass counter. A couple days later, after all the bullshit, and after the fact that my boss actually managed to bullshit the system in order to give him a discount that he wasn't even supposed to get in the first place, he decided to complain to customer service that his data transfer on his kid's phone took four days. And the reason the data transfer took as long as it did is because his phone, his kid's phone was old as shit and the battery kept failing on him. That's why it took so long. It wasn't even my fault. It was the phone's fault. But I digress. I went out of my way for this guy just for him to report me and get me written up. And, I, and yes, I did take a write-up for that. Um, so, like, it's like... You know, you want to be nice to people. You want to be good to people. But then it's dickheads like that, that it's like, why did I bother? You know, why did I bother trying to be nice? And, like, that chick, again, the guy went ahead, went out of his way to do something that he thought was good to help others. He ended up biting him in the ass. Yeah, exactly, Delpoy. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's... That's why as fucked up a joke as it is, well, he's just gonna have to die. Cause... Oh. More? Son of a bitch. Looks like we have three more on the way. Of course more. Here's the plan. Locked on. Good. We're sitting up here. Yeah, true that, Delpoy. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe you're right. I know Danny wants some feet picks, so uh, at, le at least I know I have one sin. At least. Take that! Enemy signal. Don't waste any chances. Oh God. Move. How was that? How many? Warning. Dymo signatures approaching. Enemy in range. All right, so see, I gotta do uh, like spike. That's gonna be the best way to go. Everyone, keep at it. This is all pretty freaky. I'll handle this. They felt this Clash, you have to make it out. So 
right now my focus is also going to be to try to clear out as many enemy contacts as possible. No room for hesitation. Okay, let's do this. And then I'm going to focus on the set. Nice. Say your prayers. What's optimal? Son of a bitch, more of them are showing up. Ideal, but it was something. Is that okay? What's the situation? Got that one. I'll take them out. No fight, I can't win. Go through with me. That do it. Next move. You know, you know, it's funny, Del Boy. Uh, me, Danny, and a few of our buddies were talking about that. Um, and I, I can't remember exactly what I had said. I was busting balls. I was saying something like, um, I can't remember what it was. Something like, I'm not just a cheap average whore. If I'm going in, I'm going all in. <laughs> it was something stupid like that. And, and then just adding to it. Um, I did the typical, I, I drew like a typical penis, you know, just the like two round orbs and then just a the one long shaft. Like, here, here's a dick pic. Again, guys, just being stupid. Oh, please. Right. Huh? I got one? I didn't even realize I killed one. Okay. Shit, I ain't complaining. Right now I'm just tickling these fuckers. No room for hesitation. Don't waste any Yeah, he's got a bailout. I can help. The hell did she hit? I got you, Seal. I know. It's just. Damn it. Don't waste any I'm trying to do it quite any damage that I can do, but. She's got to retreat. I forgot that I had a double flick. Should have slowed them down. What's our plan? Huh? I hit. Got one. Confirm termination of Gladiator Dino 
There we go. Get in there. Just three more. Don't let your guard down. I'll take them down quick. Alright, that that was a waste. Again, waste. As long as I can keep this thing moving. Okay, let's do this. Number 21 on the move. Stay calm. Remember your training. Target confirmed. Take that! Still not used to this thing. Alright, so that's gonna do shit. Um gonna have to have her defend. I doubt it, but I'm gonna give it a shot anyway and see. Oh that actually the heavy knuckles actually did do it. I might not have up uh, yeah, I haven't upgraded my weapons in a while, so that might have been what it is, Seal. Stun him again. Should hold him in place for a hot minute. Did I get it? Keep this thing moving. Still not used to this thing. Okay, let's go. Don't waste any chances. You're done. No effect. No point in doing anything for her. You need to defend. Next move. How's this? That easy? Damn it. No room for hesitation. Yeah, he needs a bail. He's about to die. Uh, leg spike. There we go. One down. Um, well, okay, so Del Poi, my answer to that, well, first thing, what phone are we talking about? Is it an iPhone, Android? Which one is it? Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, Seal. But yeah, um, Del Boy, for your question, depending on what the phone is, my first thought is if it's not charging at all, uh, could be your charging port that's damaged, depending on how old it is, of course. Uh, I would say, okay, it's a Galaxy A20. Oh, A20, okay. Um, ooh, all right. Could be charging port that's shot. I don't know if those phones have wireless charging. If you can get yourself a wireless charger, I, just, to, just to troubleshoot, I would say 
See if it can do wireless charging if you haven't done so already. Um, could be your charging port a shot, though. That would be my first thought. Because if it's not getting any response at all. Another way you could troubleshoot it as well. Uh, see if you could plug in your phone into your computer. Because your computer can recognize your galaxy as like a thumb drive. So if you can plug it in, your computer sees it, then it's possible that you just have an issue with settings for some weird reason. But if your phone, if your computer doesn't even see your phone, it's possible your charging port is shot. But that would be the first thing I would try. What's the plan? That's that dude's got to bail out. Boy, who's your carrier? Just helped out. For a cell phone service. The auxiliary stuff was from my design. If you want, like the EMPs and the anti um, I can, when I go to work tomorrow, I can look and see what they're offering pilot. for trade-ins and whatnot. If the you want to go for that. Spec had them all automated. Explains why the enemy got a hold of them. That also means it's got a more unstable connection to its pilot. We had to put a limiter on its functions. So its true power is being restrained. What would happen if that limiter came off? You'll get a huge boost in maneuverability, so, but it'll put an incredible strain on the pilot, too. A small price for new power, and nothing a true son of Japan can't handle. Sounds like it might have its advantages anyway. I'll have to let Sekigahara and Ogata know. Okay, cool. I did it! So, in regards to your situation, the easiest thing I could tell you from my- from what I know at my job, you can go for new line. These would be new line. Transfer over. Um, depends on what phone you go for. So if you want to just... I, I, well, first of all, I don't even know if your phone is eligible for trade, and I want to say it is because it's Samsung. And for new lines, they take a lot of phones. I just don't know if yours is, so I'd have to double check for you. But you could do a new line promotion if you go for the regular Galaxy 24. Saying that your phone is eligible. Just say that the A20 is eligible. You can go for New Line Promotion. Go for the Unlimited Plus. What does that go for? Uh, auto pays 80 bucks, And effectively, you get the 24 on us. So you get the newest Galaxy. Uh, but it is financing. So you're gonna. So the company. So you're stuck with Verizon for 36 months. Uh, if you go in, so you gotta weigh your pros and cons. If you go into the store to buy your phone, they're gonna want to charge you for setup and stuff like that. They're gonna want to buy. They're gonna want to get you on accessories. Uh, so that's one thing. They're gonna try to push protection. If you do it online, they'll just ship you the phone. It'll be the same thing. But you're doing everything on your own. You're doing your own setup. You're shipping out your phone. So. You're doing your whole you're doing your whole thing all on your own. So if you want to deal with the sales pitch, go into the store. If you if you have faith in you, if you if you think you can do it entirely on your own, do it on the computer. But yeah, you could you could basic if you, I gotta see if your phone's eligible. I don't know if it is or not, but I'll let, I'll let you know if anything. But if it sounds like something you're interested in, I'll like I said I'll shoot I'll shoot you a message later. Um, oh hell no, we are not doing the tents. 
Uh, but apparently I'm as far as that the game will let me go. So what do I need to do? Oh, okay. So wait, see if I do the Gen 1 limiter removal that makes my Gen 1 stronger? Interesting. But anyway, glad that's where I'm leaving for for tonight. I have uh, some stuff for work that I have to take care of anyway, so I got to wrap it tonight. Um, as always, I want to thank Daniel, well, Danny, Logan, Delpoy, Seal for joining. I think that's everybody. Delpoy, Danny, Seal, and Logan. Thank you guys for joining tonight. I hope you've enjoyed it as always. Uh, love, having you, eh, love having you guys around. Bleh. This is what happens when I get, like, half the sleep that I really should. Um, anyway. Likes, dislikes, bell icon, comments are all fantastic ways of helping the channel out. And I appreciate the help as it encourages the YouTube algorithm to push out our videos and allows us to grow as a community. Um, what version of the game is this? Shit, I don't know, Seal. I actually do not know. Uh, actually, version, it's actually the release version. So, this was never updated. This is the release. This is version 1.0. I'm actually looking at it right now. There you go. But anyway, um, like, dislike, spell icon. Great ways of helping out the channel. If you haven't done so already, feel free to join our Discord. Link in the description below. Del Poi, I will send you more information about the phone tomorrow if you want when I'm at work. Uh, other than that, that's where I'm going to leave it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. And I will see you all in the next one. Thank you very so much. You guys are awesome. Have a fantastic night, everybody. Later, people.